Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESG and Net of NCAA Football 14 and this is the Highland Scotties uh, sports talk here today as we're doing a quick uh, little recruitment special video here today as we're getting ready of course the big game coming up here in uh, for week 7 is we're going to be taking on the um, Wisconsin Badgers there in Madison. A big game here, number two versus number 19. It should be a fun game, and we'll have that up for you guys here very soon here on the channel. So, with that being said, of course, uh, we're going to get a look at some uh, recruitments here. As us, Like I said, this is a recruitment special. We're trying to have these uh, throughout the season here as we're going to show you guys some of the players that uh, have uh, either signed with us or we're getting close to signing. Uh, we haven't really had anybody sign with us just yet, but we got a few guys here getting close to uh, putting their uh, Herbie Hancock on the dotted line for a chance to play here at Highland. So take a look at some of the, just the stats here of some of the players there. One of them right there, uh, Matt Davis, and he's an athlete that we're really excited for. And we got him right there. He's our main guy that so far that. Uh, looks like he's going to be the first signee as he's going to be business here back coming up in a few weeks here and we got him getting close to signing we've, uh, we're pretty much the only school that he's willing to talk to and I think it's because of all the great uh, excitement and everything he's heard from the team of course hopefully we've convinced him to you know we have a since like last year we had a great chance to play in the national championship here and uh, we got a lot of cool things coming up here for our, our ball, our, for our football team here. Uh, we have uh, uh, some big. Uh, well, I think here in a couple of episodes we will announce who we're going to be playing. I think so far we already announced that we're going to play Notre Dame, and if we have not announced it yet uh, for next season, we're going to be playing Nebraska at Nebraska. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Coach Teddy Bunce will be able to go back to his alter mater and play against them. Uh, but yeah, here's some of the guys that we're just looking at right now. We're trying to put a lot of points on, try to get last chances here. Uh, some some of these guys, this pretty much is the last chance uh, we get a chance to uh, break through their um, uh, lock or whatever they call it here, uh, cutoff point here to uh, sign with us and be a part of our ball club. So that is something we're going to be trying to. Um, trying to do here in the next couple of weeks is really focus on some of these players here that we have a chance to uh, sign here. Of course, uh, Mark Collins there, he's going to be looking at uh, LSU in week 13, but we have him in week 14, and we have LSU, we play LSU coming up uh, in week 8, I believe. <coughs> or no, week, uh, yeah, no, week 8, I think it's week 8, week 11, something like, or no, week, uh, no, week 8, I think it's week 8. Uh, coming up here. It's one of those two week eight or week nine or something or, or Week nine. I think it is. I don't know. I, I can't remember exactly but it's coming up here very soon It's one of the big games coming up. I think it should be should be this next game coming up after um, Wisconsin so uh, We'll see how that goes there if we hopefully we can get a good convincing win against them uh, He'll be willing to sign with us uh, so uh, and we don't have to worry about him visiting us. Uh, we just go ahead and have him uh, commit. 
Uh, there you see Joe, jo- uh, Joe Jones, another athlete that uh, we're trying to get there to sign. and He's on the top of our list. Uh, we're on top of his list of schools he's uh, willing to talk to. And we're leading right now in that one. Uh, Sam Flower, or Flower uh, from uh, Louisiana, uh, the number eight corner in the nation. Uh, he is uh, looking also at Wisconsin as a team that he could possibly go for. And we're hoping, you know, with a big win, a good convincing win against Wisconsin, which will be tough. I wouldn't say uh, uh, if it was close. Uh, I think if we, I think if we pull by uh, be two possessions. I think. Uh, we could get, have a chance here to sign Sam and convince him there. So we made both of us really made the cutoff point there, and uh, have offered him a scholarship there. So we're looking at him. Uh, they're just uh, 570 points away from uh, signing him, uh, but right now we have the lead, and that's very very nice. That's what I like to see. Uh, at least which coach Teddy Bonds is, is uh, enjoying to see uh, from. Um, from uh, recruiting and from his coaches. Um, I think I mentioned to you guys in the last video, um, <coughs> last sport, uh, Scott's, uh, Scotty Sports Talk video, uh, I mentioned that uh, we might have a chance here, finally, of all things, uh, to finally get uh, Coach Teddy Bonds here uh, to talk uh, on the show here and just have a quick sit down here. Uh, now, I will tell you that I will be on assignment uh, I think uh, we'll be working. Or we're working on another another segment, but unfortunately, I won't be able to interview him. So a good friend of mine uh, will be able to uh, do the um, uh, episode here, and he'll have uh, Coach Teddy Bonds talk about the team and whatnot. So that should be nice. I don't know exactly when it is. Um, look at one of my interns right now, and he's shaking his head. He does not know. So. Hopefully we'll be able to get uh, Coach Bonds here and um, we'll have that interview. But uh, it should be coming up here very, very soon. Uh, and I will let you guys know here. Uh, it's, it should be in a couple of weeks uh, here in a, here in a uh, couple of weeks here on uh, in this series here. So um, we'll hopefully um, have him and be able to talk about the season so far. Uh, of course, you know, Hunter Cannon, one of the top players there. He should be making a return here. I believe after the neck, the second uh, bye week coming up here. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully we get a chance to talk to him before Hunter gets on the on the field there, and get his thoughts about that and how that's all going to come about. And not to mention, um, you know, looking at recruiting and uh, talking about recruiting and stuff like that that he uh, just wanted to go after. And, and uh, there's some encha- you know, he's been talking about some changes possibly for next season. Um, with some of the younger guys coming in there, just like this young man here, Jasper Reed from Kansas City, Kansas. We've heard about Jasper and his uh, uh, life. Uh, you know, he's you know he lost his dad uh, in the, in the uh, Afghanistan Afghanistan war a couple of years ago, and he's playing in his honor. <coughs> and I would like to go to a school uh, like how he wants to be close to home. He's a uh, you know, very close to his family. As you see there, uh, we, we're on top of his list there. He's one of the top schools there he wants to go to. And uh, talking to him, you know, I uh, actually got to sit down and talk to him. He says that, you know, he likes the, the chance to play for underdog school, especially, you know, what they did last season uh, against uh, Alabama. And, and just coming up short there, that really um, got him fired up. And, and uh, wanting to, you know, he's, he's been an underdog all his life. And he just kind of wants to see, uh, you know, if he can take a school like Highland back to that, uh, back in that spot there. Uh, Travis Harper is a guy that we got locked out of here. He's one of the top, one of the top uh, athletes out there. And, uh, yeah, fortunately we got locked out of him. So we're not unable to talk to him. So won't be able to get uh, plenty more points in him uh, coming up. But, uh, where you see the schools there, it looks like uh, it looks like it'll be Notre Dame that he's going to be able to play for. So uh, he's there next year, and uh, he does start. You know, we'll see him in action, and so we'll see how that will all come about here. Uh, what is it? Northwestern, uh, Iowa, or Illinois, and Missouri are the schools there. So it's pretty much he wants to stay around the uh, Ohio Valley area. Uh, there you see us. Yeah, we, he's going to visit us in Week 12, but he decides to uh, not. Um, you know, 
uh, deal with us there. So, you know, we could open the door up, uh, as you see there, and uh, go kind of, kind of press them for more <coughs> uh, chances here. But, uh, yeah, he's pretty much narrowed down his selection here, as you see there. Um, you know, we were supposed to have him there in week 12, but he's pretty much already as uh, pretty, you know, he's pretty good home about going to uh, Notre Dame. And so... Uh, as for uh, Quentin Keller from uh, Kingfisher, Oklahoma, he's the number five uh, overall defensive tackle, or excuse me, defensive end, uh, pass rusher there, four-star guy, 6'1", 255 pounds. Well, he is pretty much set on going to Al uh, Auburn. So we decided to go ahead and take some point, take all the points off of there and uh, let him go. And uh, Coach Tate Vaughn, you know, he was looking for this young man. He was wanting, looking for something Somebody in that pass rushing uh, to, to kind of like with uh, uh, with uh, Sheldon is uh, this year kind of one of those kind of guys that can rip through the tackles, swim through there, and and uh, really just with the you know the agility and speed that um, Sh Sherman has, Sheldon Sherman has, um, you know uh, he was looking, we was you know he was looking for that, and we've seen that in uh, Keller, but unfortunately uh, we won't be able to. Uh, have him part of our uh, team here. So best wishes to him there at Auburn. Maybe somewhere down the road we'll be able to face him and and uh, see how we play against him um, in the coming uh, in the in the near future. <coughs> uh, as for uh, Jerry Olson, uh, we decided not to deal with him either, as he's the number three corner in the nation. And some of these guys are were just kind of just reaches. We were just kind of see what we can do. And throw a line out there and see what we can bring back. Uh, and some of these guys we came really close. We just had some tough battles, and and sometimes you gotta learn how to just uh, withdraw from uh, certain areas. But the, you know we're several thousand points back, and uh, with uh, Jerry there uh, from uh, Cameron, South Carolina, uh, some really good numbers there. Speed, uh, not to mention uh, tackling. Just needs a little help, but but pursuit. Uh, his man uh, coverage and zone coverage were we were really excited about, but um, Coach Tate Bond's like, nope, we're done. Um, you know, he's young man's kind of made up his mind already by the sounds of from to at least talking to Coach Tate Bond's with him uh, about or talking about him with, or talking about Jerry Olson with Teddy Bond's about him. Uh, Coach Tate Bond says pretty much the young man has pretty much made his decision. And he is going to go to Southern California. So, uh, best wishes to him there. Uh, Jensen from Hot Springs, Arkansas, number three tight end. Of course, Coach Teddy Bonds is a big fan of the tight end position. Uh, he played a little bit of that himself, and, uh, not to mention the running back position. Uh, started off his uh, collegiate career. Uh, but what do you see there? Uh, he were number three right now with uh, Jansen as uh, he's the number three overall uh, in the uh, tight, tight end position there uh, for the nation. And uh, really trying to go after him. This is pretty much, uh, at least talking to Coach Teddy Bonds there, he said this is the last chances now for him, this young man. Um, he's really going to try to push here in the next couple of weeks. But uh, Coach Teddy Bonds says, you know, if something, you know, maybe up to the uh, the second uh uh, by week, then he's gonna just kind of go off. But there you see, we're just the top three there, so we can make us a good, good push here. Try to put more points there. Um, you know, once we get uh, some of these guys that we don't need on the board anymore. Um, but for the most part, there, yeah, it's gonna be pretty much just uh, you know, um, yeah, he got a &M, He's gonna visit in week ten, week twelve. He's gonna visit Tennessee. Uh, uh, LSU week uh, 13 and of course uh, week 14 is us but hopefully you know this next coming game after this uh, Wisconsin game we have LSU hopefully uh, that if we get a good win like I said uh, get a co good convincing win we have a good shot uh, number five in the tight end position uh, speaking of more tight ends here uh, blocking one he is uh, Terrence Long he's from uh, Florida and a 6'3 240 pounds we're just just points away from getting him and uh, right now right now Washington is the uh, top school that he is looking at right now and we are trying everything uh, coach Teddy Bonds is really doesn't want to lose his tight end battle 
but um, you know, he can't get Jensen. He's going to try to get the next best thing, and that is long. And uh, he's going to, you know, he's a blocking tight end, so that's really uh, nice for Coach Teddy Bonds there. Um, young man has some pretty good um, uh, areas in his game here. We'll take a look. Catching, catching is a little help. That's no problem there. Uh, catching traffic is really nice. Uh, running, he knows how to run a route. And uh, let's see, speed, uh, pretty good. Uh, really, actually, pretty decent there for a tight end. Uh, and then you take all of the other tangibles there. Uh, that's what some coach Teddy, coach Teddy Bond said he was really uh, liked to see. And he looked at his game tape here from uh, his uh, uh, last uh, couple of games here, there in his high school. And uh, Coach Teddy Bond was pretty impressed. So. Um, he's gonna visit. It's supposed to be visits here in week nine. I believe that's the bye week. Um, so he's gonna visit here on campus and check it out. Uh, Joshua Powers, another young man uh, we're looking at for an athlete. He's number 33 in the uh, athletes there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're uh, he's a four-star athlete. Uh, take a look at some of the numbers there and, and whatnot for the upcoming. Um, for the season there and it looks like um in a lot of ways he could be i, th I can't really exactly remember where we were uh, seeing him at um it looks like possibly on the defensive side there um but oregon is really won him very very bad and uh of course oregon you know they're known for their defense there uh he will be visiting oregon in week 12. uh he's gonna be visiting uh um in week nine there to Tennessee, and we'll of course we'll see him hopefully in week 14 if we can keep it going. But yeah, we got a bit of a, a, a bit of a you know long shot there for him. <coughs> we'll move on here now and see John Bryant uh, from Bloomington, Illinois. He is the fifth or the fourth overall uh, uh, strong safety there out there, hard hitter. Uh, it's five five ten, 178 pounds, and uh, Taking a look at his numbers there, not the greatest speed, uh, agility, and stuff like that, but he can uh, do a good job of hitting, tackling uh, when he needs to, and uh, he's a good hard hitter here. And uh, there you see the Chippewas there are up in front of there, uh, not to mention Iowa, uh, the Hawkeyes, uh, who right now have the lead right there. Hawk Chippewas and the Hawkeyes really are neck and neck, uh, and there you see us there in third. And we're just trying, like I said, trying to put all our points here in the last couple weeks here to uh, you know just uh, trying to get you know within that uh ben webster from uh, college park georgia outside uh, just i believe it's outside of atlanta uh number 13 defensive end uh run stopper here uh he's a four-star athlete uh take a look at his uh, numbers there and you know not you know this is something uh, when you get to this position or get down to towards the end of the year where you can't get really get the guys you really really want you start needing guys for depth so we're looking at him possibly a, a depth player with somebody we can develop um you know over the course of maybe not uh the first two years of his career uh not necessarily a starter uh in year one um not, maybe not even year two maybe halfway through year two he could possibly make some couple starts there for us uh but definitely a guy that we can have somewhere down the long line just ask for some depth and just, uh, just you know, get some. Uh, he can get some experience time in games where, uh, where you know, we're blowing out uh, the opponents and stuff like that. So, um, Rob Valentine, we decided to go ahead and not to bother him. Uh, outside linebacker there, I uh, see there he wants to go to an SEC school. He has nothing, nothing, nothing does not want to do anything with us. Uh, you see there are other SEC schools. There's a couple schools out west that wanted him. But he says, nope, uh, not going to go out west. Mike Roy, uh, Royal uh, from Pinewood, Florida. Another, uh, this one's a defensive tackle, 15th in the nation. And again, just some looking for some depth here. Uh, looking, you know, we found some guys here that were kind of interested uh, for, you know, talking to us. And uh, we went ahead and put them on the board there and just checking those guys out and see what they're all about and uh, so right now he's uh, at Tennessee and looks like the Hilltoppers there in Western Kentucky uh, looking at him we almost made it there 
Uh, we could try harder. Uh, here we've kind of pushed some more points here for this upcoming week, but uh, chances are we'll probably end up losing him um, here. Uh, if not next week, probably the week following. Um, Stimmy on if we you know there's a big change if we um, change his mind in whatever capacity. Uh, Ryan Tucker from Plattsburgh, New York, uh, t uh, corner there, hard hitter there. Take a look at his tackle, uh, pursuit, uh, play recognition is really top notch there. So he knows what he's doing. Uh, speed's really good. Uh, man coverage and zone. I need a little help in those areas, but for the most part, pretty decent there. Uh, kind of satisfied with him in that area. Uh, but there you see right now Missouri, uh, his uh, team that he is looking at. Uh, right now, chances are we shouldn't even be trying to talk to him anymore because uh, we just don't have a shot here at him. But um, hey, we're at number five. We're still there. Um, yeah, I think next week we might just pull away from him. And uh, see what happens. You see uh, Isaac Mason. Uh, they're just getting too far uh, away from him. He is just pulling away here. And uh, again, another player that we may just have to say, you know, uh, goodbye to and just kind of just see what else is out there. See if we can just get some guys that, um, you know, like I said, may not start next year. Uh, just have them on the team, just see where we're at. Um, and just go from there. Just uh, just trying to get some depth. Uh, just trying to get those guys there. Like I said, we may not get that playing time there, but if, if we can run up the score and, and do well, and um, you know, if we can get some you know decent, uh, depending on who we're playing, and we get some uh, you know some decent points on the board from the offense, and we can put the second string defense out there and get those guys some experience there to help out. Uh, Russ uh, Ryan Russ there from Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, Three-star athlete. He's a kicker. Uh, of course, we are looking for a kicker. Uh, so you know, kickers make you know have to get points for us too at times. So uh, we're looking at his kick power and his kick actually pretty decent there. Uh, kind of a middle road player, 81 overall, and uh, just trying to find somebody just kind of replace our our current guy right now, uh, who will probably end up. I believe is a junior, so he'd probably leave early for the draft. Uh, if not, um, just somebody we can have for next year, uh, and then just kind of help develop. Because um, I think, I think the kicker we have right now, he is. I think he is a junior, so he may he doesn't go pro. Then he'll have another year. So we just kind of want to get that uh, position secured and, and uh, ready to go. Uh, but take a look here. Add some others here. We'll get there's some more here that you guys have submitted. We'll talk about those here in just a bit. But um, Robert Hearn, he's uh, one of our guys that we could possibly go after. Uh, Brett Clark, another young man uh, from Ohio, uh, 35 uh, corner. Uh, and like you said, like I said, we're, <laughs> we're just really this point, especially in the corners and especially in a lot of the uh, D backs and stuff like that, we're just looking for. Um, some depth and just trying to just fill plug some holes up uh, as we just need some guys to just take up some space for the for the season so we'll have a you know a full roster we'll have a bunch of walk-ons and stuff like that uh, Ben Graham he is looking at us and um, if I'm not mistaken I think in the last time we had a special his brother went ahead and signed I think in the last episode I think of uh, I think our last I think we had yeah I think another the last most previous uh, recruitment special, his brother uh, signed with Nebraska. So, uh, but we got a good chance here to get Ben. Uh, we're really trying to work hard on it. And uh, there you see, uh, he has got Florida State and uh, Navy uh, right there in our midst there. Uh, Missouri, go ahead and they get Clint Manning from Marshall, Missouri. Uh, he is a defensive tackle. There you see his numbers there, and he we've been now officially locked out, so no chance to get talking to him. We haven't. I think we only offered him a scholarship there, but uh, and of course uh, he was going to come to visit us on week 13. But it looks like now uh, that might uh, not be in, you know, might not be on our books there. Ian Johnson, uh, the one quarterback we were, we were talking to, he's the number one quarterback right now uh, overall, and 
uh, pocket passer from all Omaha. He's uh, I believe I think I said last time we talked about him. He's a uh, he played a lot of different positions uh, in his. Uh, I think that's Coach Teddy Bonds there was mentioned to me. Uh, but Ian plays a lot of different positions on his football team, a kicker, st uh, strong safety. Uh, so he has a lot of t tangibles there. Uh, and looks like Florida likes what they see from him. And it uh, looks like he could be going to be a Gator next year. Uh, Zeon Brown um, from Grand Island, uh, New England, or Grand Island uh, Nebraska. He's a friend, if I'm not mistaken, I think this young man is a friend of Hunter Cannon. Um, and uh, there you see uh, he would like to play here. Uh, at least talking to him, he's uh, he wants to try to play you know here with the Hunter for next season. Um, and there you see his numbers there. Uh, but Iowa State right now, uh, he's kind of convinced with Iowa State right now. He's got a good lead there on us, and uh, I don't know. Uh, we may not be able to see him uh, with him and Hunter Cannon here on the field. Uh, I believe Hunter has another player here. I think there's another young man that played uh, with Hunter Cannon here on on this list. Uh, but Z uh, Brown was another was one of them I, that I can remember on top of my head. As we take a look here, Bart, yeah, here you see he signed already with Nebraska. So uh, possibly next year we could see the two brothers uh, opposite uh, you know opposite uh, playing field. Uh, from each other. Jalen Munoz, he signed with Iowa. Uh, he's going to be a Hawkeye there. You see there uh, from Ames, Iowa. Uh, Cameron Morgan. Oh my goodness. We wanted him so bad. Coach Teddy Bonds was uh, just talking about him a lot. Uh, he will be going to Colorado. And then <coughs> the other um, player that we were looking at uh, that you guys submitted, Jalen Richardson, he is going to uh, Nebraska also. So uh, and, and that was kind of one of the reasons why Coach Teddy Bonds was going, to, uh, was wanting to play uh, Nebraska uh, for that reason, uh, to see how those young men are going to be playing. And, well, I, I mean, there's a good chance they may not be playing next season, but uh, we'll see uh, how that goes, and uh, we'll see how they're um, going to be uh, utilized there, uh, playing there at uh, Nebraska next season. So. Here you see, we're just kind of replay, we're just trying, kind of removing some of this, uh, the players that are kind of dead weight on our list. And like I said, we mentioned, I already mentioned some of them that we are going to be taking them off here and, and getting rid of them and uh, trying to open our board here. Now, uh, with the board that we have right now, right now we're not going to add anybody yet. Um, for the time being, with the points that we need right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, just uh, focus on the guys that we have on our board currently. And then once we get some of those guys signed, then we'll start going after other players. Uh, just like I said, just trying to fill up and just trying to get some depth uh, in certain areas. And I think most of that is going to be on defense here because we're going to be losing a lot of defensive guys coming up. And uh, you know, got I think our defensive line is going to be the big, big, big um, <laughs> needs. It's going to be a big hole there um, next season. If not next season, then you know the following season. So we want to try to get some depth in there, get those uh, some of these uh, guys in now or for next season, and then yeah, get better. Uh, try to get them better here, and of course, just you know, do just do some heavy recruiting next year since whatever positions we really need, uh, just hit it hard next season and uh, go after those players. Especially if we can just play really well here uh, and just. Have a good showing, have a good goal, you know, good bowl appearance. Uh, I think, really and truly, I think we could, you know, we can get some of these players to, uh, you know, we can get some more players on the off season there to really uh, help us out and, and get us, uh, you know, get our name out there. So just just winning the, you know, if we can get to the national championship or get to some really good prestigious bowl, uh, that would really uh, help us out and, and just get our name out there, just like last season. So. Um, but that is something uh, we just got to have to do here and, um, you know, just have to see what um, what's best for the team. So, uh, got a, quite a few more games. Like I said, we got one big, we got uh, Wisconsin coming up here. Um, and I think you guys already seen that video about that, uh, up, or that video about that uh, game coming up and then what we need to do. Uh, but, yeah, well, here you see just, again, just trying to get rid of that, some of the, 
uh, some of the players that were just uh, already committed already to other schools and just kind of focus on these 19 players that we're right now we're trying to go after and get better and try to just fill some holes here in some areas so that is it for the recruitment special I know not nothing big or splashy but uh, that's just an update of what our recruiting board looks like and uh, what we need to do so yeah uh, okay so now, yeah it's eight week eight we play against um, uh, LSU and then I think week nine we play against somebody else and then week 10 is our bye week so um, so we'll see how things go here like I said we'll try to get coach Teddy Bonson on here very soon I don't know I'll let you guys know as, as soon as I can when that um, when that episode is going to be up and what and uh, and whatnot and I have a good friend of mine is going to be hosting it here uh, he'll be hosting the show that week uh, while I'm on this on assignment so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more Highland Scotty's football here on the channel that's it for the recruiting special We'll have another one coming up before the season ends. Uh, give you guys a wrap up, especially when, if anybody signs here uh, here soon. Hopefully, we'll get some people signed here to our team as uh, soon as we can. So, thank you guys for watching, and again, stay tuned for more Highland Scotties football here on uh, ESGN Net. That is it for me. As always, keep yourselves each other healthy. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, on the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. And I will see you guys, as always, next time. See you guys. <laughs>